Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here. Welcome to another video. In this festive video, me and my brother Anthony yep. are going to be reviewing and ranking three eggnogs from three different brands. AKA the only three I found at Walmart. I, I know there's not a whole bunch of brands that make eggnog. But we're going to see which of these store-bought brands is the best that you need to buy for the holidays. Starting with Mayfield eggnog. Uh, Mayfield, really uh, prominent dairy milk ice cream brand. Let's see how their eggnog is. That some people hate eggnog, some people love it. It tends to be that sort of thing. Me, I like it all right. I definitely don't dislike it. Is that enough? Yeah, that's fine. Tell me when. Yes, when. All we need is enough to taste. Enough to try it. Yeah. So let's see how this Mayfield is. Cheers. That's pretty good. It scares me. <laughs> Has a good sweetness. The aftertaste is what gets me. It's weird. Mm -hmm. It's not super thick. Still smooth, creamy. What's that aftertaste? Doesn't taste like eggnog. No, well, it has like a. It's like artificial. Mm. Corn syrup. <clears throat> yeah, that's protein, so <laughs> I'll take it. I like it all right. Then I said sweet. There is a little something in there. Like you're saying, that's kind of throwing me off. Mm -hmm. But i drink it again, for sure. I'm going to give it a conservative, very conservative, 6.5. Out of 10? Mm-hmm. I'll give it a 6. I think I've tasted better. So. Yeah. So about 6.3 to start off. Start us off, Mayfield, that's what it gets. But right now, it's in first. We'll put it like over there by you. <clears throat> Next, we're going to try Borden brand eggnog. Um see how different this is compared to the Mayfield. I think it's going to be better. I guess we'll see. I've had some Borden milk before. I think chocolate milk. But other than that, I'm not too familiar with this brand. Let's try it. Wow. No, it tastes different. Mmm. This one has a uh, more milkier taste to me. It's worse. It's a little thinner too. Still smooth, but a lot more uh, liquidy. I don't think the Borden's is as good. So, I don't know. I'm going to give the Borden's like a 5.5. .5. I'll give it a 5.9. <laughs> All right, so like a 5.7, 6.3. Not too much of a difference between these two. This one may be slightly runnier. Um, maybe a little milkier type taste. It's in second. We got one more brand to try. My favorite. We got that Southern Comfort eggnog. Yeah, that's going to be good. Southern Comfort. Oh. oh, yeah. I don't know. I know this is a straight bottled eggnog. It ain't the fresh stuff. It ain't doctored up with like cinnamon in it. Or anything like that so I know uh, that's probably why it's not tasting as great as uh, some of it is let's try though mm -hmm. this one's different ain't it it's better it's thicker too ain't it yeah it's thicker I'm not getting that weird taste yeah. as much mm -hmm. at the end It's sweet, but not as sweet. Creamier, a lot creamier. I just don't think I'm a fan of eggnog anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after your commentary. <laughs> mm. This is the first one that I like. actually like. like yeah. so. If I didn't just drink these and ruin my appetite, that's probably a, a nine for eggnog. I was going to say, I'm going to give it about an eight. So, eight and a half for Southern Comfort. Um, again, a lot creamier, thicker, 
Um, not as strong. I feel like you can uh, do more with it. Um, so yeah, this one just under six, just over six for Mayfield. Sell their comfort though, eight and a half between the both of us. If you're gonna get eggnog this year, get you some Southern Comfort. I think you'll be impressed if you've never had it. Yeah. Anyways, happy holidays. They're basically here. Southern Wood out.